What is going on, y'all? It is your man, Ballakin 2, back on the blacktop with another episode of Blacktop Shots, where we bring you financial freedom news straight from the street. So today, as you can see in the background, we're going to be talking about NBA Top Shot. We're also going to go into Cat and Mouse Game, and we're going to round it off with a little bit of touching up our stock portfolio. So we've got a few events for y'all today, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a good one. So the first one, one I wanted to talk about is this trade ticket situation. So this is best practices for trade tickets. I'm going to show you what we're talking about here. So if we go to our collector score, as Katie hits that in somebody I, uh, what they should give us is also, or maybe it's not there. Maybe it's over here in my profile. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. So our trade tickets here. Okay. Um, showing you that we have four trade tickets. And how do we get those trade tickets? Well, let me show you just some of our recent um, say our purchases here. So if we go back, ooh, let's say we're going back, 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 way back. Okay, let's see if I can find it. It's been a while since I did this. Um, Marcus Morris, one dollar moments, okay? And this is what I'm telling you. Don't use nothing for trade tickets unless they are one dollar. This is why you're essentially buying a four dollar pack and whatever you get from that, um, let's just say you can sell them for, let's say you sell them for three dollars, that is a 200% profit. If you sell them for two dollars, that's a 100% profit, okay? so. Um, you're gonna give up four dollars to get three moments. If I sell all those moments for three dollars, let's just say I'm making five dollars. If I sell them all for six, I'm making at least two dollars. But guess what? It's still a come up. So that's what we are showing people today. Um, and it's hard to come by. Whenever I get a one dollar moment, number one, if it's a clipper, I'm keeping it. I'm not sending it to no trade tickets. But all of the other one dollar moments that I have uh, purchased. You can see that's a purchase. They have turned into trade tickets, and I'm trying to see if I can find another one. Um, ooh, a lot of moments sold, Malik Monk purchased. Okay, that's when I did the last challenge. Um, and the best time to do this is during a pack drop. Okay, you can see I'm just scrolling through, I haven't really got to no more one dollar moments yet, but, and that's how hard they are to come by. Okay, I might fill a transaction like 10 times before I can actually snipe a one dollar moment. But when you see a pack drop coming, go to the marketplace and just try to wait um, until you see some $1 moments pop up and have to be quick on it. So you can see even all those pages, and that was what, that spanned about two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, almost a month ago, you didn't see any of them. But I, I'll show you what I do. So I go to the marketplace, marketplace pops up, I immediately go to low lowest ask low to high and i'm already ready right here in case something pop off and see it's loading up and nothing okay see the floor has been rising lately and what that means is that it's hard to get a one dollar moment but during those pack drops that's the best time because you will constantly see one one dollar moments popping up and as a matter of fact you might see this whole top row full of one dollar moments this whole second row full of one dollar moments so if you are getting those one dollar moments you're going to use them for trade tickets and let's do that let's go get us a trade pack right now a locker room pack and see if we can open it right here for y'all so it looks like a uh, 317,000 left it's enough for us uh, it's going to cost us four trade tickets we're going to join this drop real quick bop okay it's our first time doing this so let's see how this works we are in line we better not be in <laughs> no line oh, okay this is funny we joined in a drop with two users ahead of me. I mean, how long does it take? Okay, so um, it should be my turn pretty soon. Maybe it does take a little bit longer because we're talking about a trade ticket situation. Oh, but here we go. Here we go. Not too bad. Oh, and there we go. They're asking me how many I want. Um, we can do 10 packs for order. That's pretty cool. So I'm just going to get one. Buy now. And remember, all $1 moments, I don't even really care what the moments were. Well, let's just see what we can come up on, okay? So, this is kind of exciting. It's the first time we hit on a locker room comp and pack, okay? Um, 
I'm expecting a bunch of garbage up in here, some dookie sticks. But now, for, no, and look at this, we get to do a pack opener for y'all when we wasn't expecting to do that off of a straight locker room pack. Let's get pack sizzles. We don't play, and we in business. We in business. Okay, so it's, you know, we still get the whole pack opening experience. That's what I do like about this. Okay, let's let's start from the middle out. Bow. What we got here? Was this a little uh, PJ Tucker? You know, PJ Tucker is not killing the game. I don't even know if he's playing right now, honestly. But dang, that was a nice T TJ. He just caught. Okay, he don't even do that. He played D, but catching that was pretty nice. Okay, so a base set series three. I'm not sure if these are all series three. You know, that's actually a good question. Um, it could be a mix, but it might just be series three because the series ones aren't mixed in either. So I'm not going to pack the least eight. Let's just assume they're all series three. Let's go to the right. Bye. Okay. Who's this? Uh, Jared Vanderbilt, you know what's crazy? Ooh, I just sold. Oh, and it's a 12K moment. Hey, I'll start getting these locker room packs with $1 moments. This is already a come up. I literally just sold a Jared Vanderbilt 60K for $5. I don't even know why the floor is $5 on these moments, but I just sold one. I can literally show you right after we finish opening this pack. So, to get a top shot debut, Jared Vanderbilt, somebody was. Very, very gracious in putting that up in the locker room pack. So, this is already a tremendous come up. I'm really, really hyped off this. So, quick to reveal. Let's do one more. And who is this? Uh, Al Horford. So, Duke Sticks. That's another 60K. Ooh, he took it to the bucket like it wasn't nobody business, though. Ooh, that's hard. So, you know, Al Horford. Maybe a $2 moment. I'm going to put him up for three, obviously, but maybe a two. But look at that. Let's go ahead and read the progress for our first ever locker pack. And, um, yeah, of course. You know, our notable pool was that Jared Vanderbilt. Bop! Top shot debut. But, just for y'all who think that we over here playing games, let's go hit the done. Okay, let's go ahead and done. Let's go back. And let's just go. Look at moment was sold. When was this? December 17th. Wow, that was, no. Oh, that was a day. So, six hours ago. Sold that uh, for five dollars, and it was a 60k. Look, you can see it was number 47,000. So I have no idea why these are selling that much, but they are. I can only imagine. And let's go see. Let's go see what a Jared Vanderbilt Top Shot debut is going for right now. I'm actually really curious at the moment. Um, come on. Okay, so let's go look the man up. This is a uh, Jared Ooh, Jared Vanderbilt. There you go. Okay, what you got for me? Okay, so, wow, somebody straight blessed us with a full dollar pack. We hit a 12K Top Shot debut here at Vanderbilt. As you can see, now I can sell that moment for $6. Somebody please comment and let me know. Why is Jared Vanderbilt going for so much on Top Shot? I think he might be the only player with a $6.60K moment. Um, outside of KD and as you can see um, this top shot debut ain't no joke either it's a series two and that lets us know there was series two moments in that pack so man very very extremely profitable pack I wasn't even expecting that myself I should just shut it all down right now and say game over but hey you know we're gonna keep going on with the show now the next thing as we go ahead and leave man that was a hell of a pack yeah, Series 2, Series 3, Series, series 3. Um, and let's, let's go, let's go here. Now we transitioning over to Cat and Mouse game. We talked about this game a little bit last week. And we are here to update you. And the news is not looking good for Cat and Mouse game. It's looking like um, Tom and Jerry got into a fight and things are really, really struggling right now. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So, the best thing, this is the pro, the game works. Out of all the P2E NFT games out there, I don't care if you're talking about Wolf Game, I don't care if you're talking about Whale Game, uh, Squid Game, um, all the games that's out there, this one is actually working, unlike those. But somehow those continue to get a little bit more following. But 
the good thing though is that at least Gen 1 minted out a real estate. So real estate is now 160,000. But characters didn't. You might be saying, well, what's going on on here? Okay. This is what's going on. You see, my cat has actually stole absolutely zero uh, if anything. Okay. But they're lazy. And you see, my mice got quite a bit of cheddar. You might be saying, why is that? Well, the economics right now for this particular game are not that great, meaning that when I claim all this cheddar, it might cost me more to claim the cheddar with the gas fees than the cheddar is actually worth, and that is the struggle. So, but still, you know, I, I got lucky and minted one cat, he up to 22 racks. I did get at least 180k real estate, and that's already up to 62 racks, so they are producing that cheddar, and you can see I'm up to 12 mice now, but like I said, they are just sitting there. So. During mint day, I minted four. I have not purchased any off open seas. It's all just cheddar reminting. And I'm probably, I think, 0.36 to actually uh, mint these and start playing the game with gas keys and everything. And now I'm probably up into an ETH. And um, it's looking like it might be a rug. There's some more good news though. It could be uh, PVP, a play, player versus player coming up to where mice is battle for the throne so that way you're burning mice making them more rare making them more valuable and you're also burning cheddar because if you lose uh, you lose all your cheddar possibly and the other person gains all that cheddar so high stakes high rewards that's slated to come along with a gambling game like a cheddar wheel where you can kind of gamble and try to hit on a jackpot of cheddar so this is what we're talking about with cheddar game or with the cat and mouse game, I only have 112 cheddars. I can't even roll, you know, one mouse up on the trash can. Not that I would do that right now anyway, but this is kind of where we at with cat and mouse game. So yeah, the Discord is going crazy. Um, crazy cat lady who was actually running everything has not been very responsive to the team or the community, although she has put out some announcements addressing everybody's concerns. So, you know, some people like constant communication some people just like to complain it doesn't even matter but ultimately you do not want to be losing money and this right now is not going to be gaining what you need let's go get into an example right now where's cheddar at remember last time we looked only a week ago cheddar was at i think two cents now cheddar is at two where you at shed where you at shed point zero 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 two cents so really really struggling really really tank okay uh, this is where we where we at with cheddar right now people are probably dumping it so what does that mean that means and let's just say okay let's go back over here um I have 12 mice with let's say 25,000 cheddar okay so 12 mice who there we go 12 mice time okay but you're gonna need to hit 12 or what 12 mice times 20 oh lord 12 mice times 25,000 cheddar equals okay so 300,000 let's just say but at the rate of times then what was it we said it was point one two three two two that is only 66 bucks okay much different than what was going on last week so this is not even going to cover like i said the gas fee to claim all this cheddar let alone minting more characters and staking more characters or real estate so until the economics gets back on track i'm just going to let them sit here and continue to stack and just chalk it up as an L. okay this is what you got to be willing to do sometimes cut the losses don't put no more into it just kind of wait and hold uh, no use in trying to unstake and sell them because like I said that's going to cost you uh, more than the mice are probably even worth on the secondary at this point in time so cat and mouse a little bit of a struggle but people should know <clears throat> and this is the life cycle of PT, P2E um, it seems like you want to get in early you want to mint you want to sell off whatever assets you can that you are getting from the generation of those original mints and then kind of go from there you know you want to get your original investment back as quick as you can 
and then just play the game free. Okay, so update on cat and mouse. It has potential. It's working. That is number one. That's probably the most important part. But the problem is the economics are so bad, you are constantly paying to play. Okay, you're not playing to earn, unfortunately. So it's more like a P2P pay to play than a P2E play to earn. So that's just an update on that. But we have more P2Es coming up. They pop up every day and we will eventually hit on one. So last but not least, let's go see how the stock market is doing. It's looking just as rough as cat and mouse right now. So it's just, like I said, blood in the streets recently. Um, S&P 500, the uh, NASDAQ, as well as the Dow Jones, all up big today. And as you can see, we made a nice little move, um, but still not exactly where we want to be. Costco, still right there, too, too, teetering on the brink of disaster. Okay, We still, out of the 10 racks that we've initially put in, only down 5% is not going to kill us. But it is time to start thinking, get about 3 to 5%. That's like the medium zone. When we get to about five to eight, <clears throat> that's red. We gotta get out. Right now I'm willing to hold on to Costco, especially since the market seems to at least give us a little bit of hope. But I don't wanna get into anything new while the market is struggling like this. One thing I will do though, and we're talking about video games and playing to earn. Those are a good play right now because of everything that's happening with Microsoft just buying out, I can't remember who they bought out, Activision, or yeah, I think they bought out Activision, Blizzard, so uh, they have big plans to move on into the metaverse, <clears throat> as well as these play to earn games, so what we are going to do is take a look at a trade that we want to get involved in, and one that I like and could be a target for an acquisition is Take-Two. Disney is rumored to possibly be interested in Take-Two. It was up today. Um, if we go back over, let's just go over here to the chart. It is actually down, you know, from where it was. And it's not really forming a base. It's kind of bouncing around. But if you can just look over the last, let's say, 10 days or so, it has been making some moves. It's taken a dip. But it is forming a little bit of a cup right there, and that's we're seeing that right side of base start to form, and that's kind of where you want to go in. And you see things start to move in that direction. So let's go take a chance. Okay, uh, we're at the bottom, so it's okay to bottom fish. We just don't want to get too crazy and get into four or five position. So in this case, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna buy obviously. How many? Let's see how much is worth. Hundred and fifty dollars, and I want to get to ten racks. So that's approximately, I don't know, 30, let's just see, 30, uh, preview order, how close are we? Uh, not even close, so let's go ahead and change our order, uh, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do 70, let's do 70, preview that order, a little bit too much, okay, a little too much, a little too much, a little too much, and let's try 65. Okay, that looks a lot better. We might even be able to take it down one or two more until about 63. Let's go ahead and try that out real quick. Three. And let's preview. And that's what we want. So we're going to submit this order. 63 shares of take two. Hopefully Disney do buy it and um, have it pop off. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you the cope that I'm dealing with right now. As in real life, I sold Activision maybe two days before it got acquired by uh, Microsoft and it popped off like 30%. So sometimes this happens. You live and you move on. Okay. So we have just, I think we submitted, yeah, okay, we submitted the trade and now we're just going to wait to see what happens. So we're not doing nothing with Costco. We're just in a new position with Take Two and we're going to see where that takes us overall. Um, we're down by who? About 4,800. So not killing us, but not really moving in the direction we want to right now. But hey, this is the game that people play. So we just give you a nice quick update of what's going on there. Uh, the best thing that's going on right now is NBA Top Shot. As you can see, we just came up. 
um, maybe this could cover my gas to claim all that cheddar that's over here in Cat and Mouse. So we did have a locker room pack, best practices in getting your locker room pack. Make sure you take advantage of those notes I just gave y'all. Um, Cat and Mouse, if you're already in there, just hold and watch. If you're not, sit on the sidelines and wait. Okay, because you can see what cheddar is at right now, not where you want it to be. And then lastly, in the stock market, things are, um, it doesn't seem like it can get any worse, but then you never know. And maybe there's some light at the end of the tunnel. So we're just doing a little testy test. Maybe we're at the bottom, and maybe it was, maybe it's nowhere but up from here. So this has been your man, Ball and Kim 2, back with another episode of Black Top Shots, where we bring you the NBA top shot financial freedom and a little bit of gaming news straight from the streets and as always count it and we'll catch y'all on the rebound peace